So you're working on a little bit of your shoulder rotation. So let's show everybody what, what, what's going on. Yeah, so what I'm working on in George right now is to finish my shoulder rotation with my shoulder turn and not my arm. So yep. I get to the point where I'm here and I finish my swing with this, arms. which isn't doing anything. Yeah, and that happens, Lauren, with a lot of players. They turn, they feel like they're turning all away, right? And yeah. then they finish their golf swing with, with their the, arms with right the arms, here. And that just, it's you know who not else very, does that? <laughs> it's not a very powerful move. Yeah. You're not really getting anything out of it, and it's going to lead to some inconsistencies too. So. And you know what I think happens, Lauren, too, is I think this happens with people that are, you know, maybe have some injury or don't have as much flexibility too. So they turn to a point where they can, and then they finish their golf swing with their arms. Yeah. Right? So not, that's not you, obviously. Yeah. So ahead. what with what George talks about is really finishing it with my shoulders, and then he even goes into thoracic extension. So really working on kind of what your thoracic region of your spine is doing right. and and feeling the turn from there. So take it to where you were and before you get all the way and then how do you finish your turn? A little more rotation, right? Yeah. So again, there's no arm lift in here. Even though your arms are getting up high, you're not arm lifting. If, you're, if your shoulders are moving, your hands are moving, correct? Yeah. So and when you feel that, it's you feel so much loaded and it's a completely different feeling than this. Yep. You feel a lot more power here. Like I'm ready to to start my down swing Show me position. a drill that George has you do to get, get to that position. So to feel it, because it is different from what I was doing, we do freezers. So you get to that position at the top of your swing. So I'm here, I feel that thoracic extension and that turn with my shoulders, and then I hit it from here. It's called a freezer, huh? Freezer. <laughs> so that is exactly what, from a standpoint, um, you know, to get you the feeling, right? I mean, mm -hmm. obviously the feeling is a lot of times you'll get to hear, you'll raise your arms for you. You're making sure you're getting that extension and then hitting it. Yeah. So do it again and show them. And then again, because this is so different, a lot of times in my swing, I can feel if I'm doing it or not. Right. I can feel like, oh no, that was arms. Right. And that's the point of drills in golf, right? I mean, that's the point is to get that feeling of where we want you in that position. So there, a little extra turn. Good, good. And have you felt more power in your golf oh, swing yeah, because definitely. of that? Right? Definitely. And probably more consistency because when your arms start doing the work, then you know, you're just, again, we always talk about dropping our arms in the slot, but with yeah. this, you're getting in a position here where your arms are getting in a position where they have no choice but to fall in the right position. Well, if my arms are doing work on my backswing, they're gonna do work on my downswing, and you yep. definitely don't want that at all. Awesome, good stuff.